It's day two in the northeast. After visiting one of England's most haunted castles yesterday, the group are up for a late breakfast. Morning. Do you think uh, Kerry really had a good night? We'll want to kill you, yeah. Yeah, well, they definitely won't. Well, we know that. We knew that as soon as we yeah. mentioned their names. I'll be honest. Hopefully, Kerry and Lily won't be annoyed. Who wouldn't want to stay in a, the most haunted castle in the UK for their birthday? Not my cup of tea. Dick and Dom are not my cup of tea. Our lovely room that we just stayed in was not very lovely. Don't get me wrong, I've stayed in, in digs like this, but it's not been a haunted castle. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's not the most haunted castle in Britain. Uh, and we hadn't just been on a ghost hunt and we just didn't summon the devil. No, they're not my friends anymore. They're my automatic vote for everything now and that's a legitimate reason. But you know what? On the plus side, what was really nice, we didn't get a vote off anybody. That's what annoys me the most. Didn't get a single vote. Next thing you know, we're getting punished for what? Being likeable? Jealousy. Right, come on. Let's go and join this group. Oh, you come in, Lizzie. There you go. Guess who's returned from the castle? Yeah! <laughs> Don't be telling them too much. What's that mean, Lily? <laughs> <laughs> We've come on and we're giving everyone dirty looks. I look at these two people and I was like, oh my, hi, nice to meet you. Oh, you're all right, you're growing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do not I have an interpastry because of you. Hi, hi. I'm Kate, nice I'm Tinker Strada. Nice, nice to meet you. Oh my goodness me, if looks could kill, that just happened. We were murdered. <laughs> Dick and Dom, <laughs> you're in the bad books. <laughs> I wouldn't like to be Dick and Dom this morning, to be honest. No. No. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we have our first new arrivals on the coast. Hey! Please welcome Tinchy and Linda. Yay! Thank you. It's a bit like the first day at school, though, isn't yeah, it? You feel yeah, like you're you're just out of the loop. Out of the loop, and then all of yeah. a sudden you're in please, the loop. Please be my friend. Yeah, like, okay, <laughs> I, need, I need a friend. <laughs> yeah. Hello, can I be your friend? Linda? <laughs> yes? Hi, Callum over here. I think you're a very beautiful lady, and I would like to know if I can have a signed calendar, please. Well, it'll be all brown and wrinkled at the edges because it was a long, long time ago. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Tincher, um, do you believe in ghosts? Are you scared? I do, I do. So I'm weird. I don't want to see one, but I believe in them. Are you going to write about me again in any more songs? Um, I kind of didn't. Pro Green did. Tinchy, I was in one of his songs. But they I actually just slugged stuff. me off. Let's be on a coach together for hours. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll give him the benefit of the doubt, right? Oh, oh absolutely. We, we can't wait to get to know Tinchy. Yeah. He does seem really nice. Well, welcome to the coach, guys. That's <laughs> lovely. Excellent, excellent. OK. So... We're all waiting with bated breath, and I know we want to ask them. Yeah. Kerry and Lily. Ooh. Oh, no, it, it's worse than that. Kerry and Lily. Ooh. Ooh. So, how was your night in the most haunted castle in the United Kingdom? Bloody awful, Brendan. Was it? Was it? Honest God, I'm, I'm here for revenge today. Oh. <laughs> So, Dick and Dom, be prepared, because there's going to be some mad spirits flying into you. There was a spider that had been in the gym, it had been on steroids, I had tattoos, and it was like... <laughs> there was a wasp and it nest. won't call Callum. <laughs> <laughs> Kerry and Lily sounded like they had a horrific night. Yeah, like... What the, a shame. Like... <laughs> this morning, we are going to Newcastle. <laughs> And when we get there, we are going to be making our own... our own... potions and spells! Yeah! Oh, this is exciting. What are we doing? Uh, potions. Potions and spells. I put a spell on you. Let's go! Potion making! Are we in Harry Potter right now? <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> Round the house! 
Right, ladies and gentlemen, can I introduce you to Davos the Great, the wizard extraordinaire. Today, I'm going to be teaching you and showing you how to make some of your own potions. Ooh. Let the potion making begin! <laughs> It's afternoon on day two, and the celebs are in Newcastle stirring up hubble, bubble, toil and trouble by learning the art of potion making. We're making potions. Oh. Belly Amos. Mix it together for toil and trouble. <laughs> your cocktail shaking face is your sex face. That's what they say. <laughs> Lovely students, go ahead, yeah. enjoy your potions. Yeah. Don't drink! Don't drink! Expected it to taste horrible. It was beautiful. Yeah. Like a punch. Just needed some rum in there. Yeah. And then it would have been really good. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's your turn now. We'd like you to go off and make your own potion. And we'd like you to compose a little spell. Ooh. Very good, OK. So pick up your ingredients, put them into your cauldron, and off you go. Look at that there. Look at that. What's that, like a little bun? Frog's legs, sheep's hearts, and fish eyes. Ooh. Oh, my God. I thought we were here to do potions, but it's looking like a bush took a trial. Yeah. We have uh, dead flies, blood, rusty nails, cockroaches. Cobwebs. Spelliamos. Kerry, here, look, you can put this in. No, I mind you, I've married worse. Well, it's, I thought you wanted revenge. Oh my god, this is so good. I've got to ask you guys, um, because you guys got voted for last night by oh, Chloe yeah. and Nicole. Yeah. How does that make you feel? I don't know whether it was more tactical. Like, I don't know. After they were saying, oh, we knew everyone was going to vote for Dick and Dom, so we didn't want to vote for them, so we voted for you. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I felt like it was more of, like, a tactical move you think? from them. I think you two are a strong pairing. So, I think yeah. you two are. Yeah, we are. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> we're mother and dog. <laughs> <laughs> Graft and Charles absolutely love them. I love them so much. We're, we're tight like They're this. They're so nice. I do think that it's like certain groups now, isn't there? Yeah. I think they are I think forming, yeah. There's like, there's us, isn't there? Then mm. you've got um, the young one. Well, the young one. It's Dick and Dom. Yeah, then Dick and Dom. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you at with Dick and Dom? They're gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Off the Christmas card list. Not, vengeance. Not, not even, not it's even vengeance. It's today vengeance. Not even either. <laughs> OK, ladies and gentlemen, have we all written our spells? Yes! yes. yes. <laughs> so, we need to know who is it for and what's its purpose. Ooh. Are you trying to curry favour with another couple? No. Or are you seeking revenge? <laughs> We shall us? see yeah. Dick and Dom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. A potion for pots. There's beetles in there and plenty of hair and a, a sprinkling of dust from under the stair. A handful of chilies and a selection of grits. This will be sure to give him the shakes. <laughs> <laughs> This cauldron of magic contains nails, thyme and clover. Perfect to combat his paranormal hangover! Yay! Dick and Dom's was just so lovely. They brought a full three-page spread just about me. Mm. When they did the potion, we both looked at each other and we was like, watch, this is going to be like a forgiveness, forgiveness spell. spell. Like, no apology, no nothing from them. This is a youth potion, yeah. as I'm probably the oldest one here. You taught me how to beatbox. Boots and cats, boots and cats. Boots and cats, boots and cats. Yo, superpowers, hard to defeat. Beat like a cockroach down to six feet. 
Timothy Strider is doing a little private concert. This is all we've wanted. I was just looking at him like. <laughs> Eternal laugh. We rat never settle. Deserve the awards. Hand in the middle. What's to deserve the awards? Just hand us the medal. You're going to get a wordsmith to follow you. You know you're not going to win, really, are you? He was really, bubbling those... He was spitting those lyrics out. Graft and Sean, with whom we stand. Do not drink this potion, only rub it on your hand. Please, this is our poem to us. Don't vote for us. Potentially. It's bloody hard, isn't it, when you you've got to vote for You can't trust no one. <sighs> Love, Nick and Chloe. <laughs> It's all about making amends. Is. Exactly. And making friends. Amends on a street with no bends. So to start off, this potion is called the Wifey Juice. I know we've got two grime artists and rappers and singers in the room. But they've not got David and Calvin. But they've on the not team. got this. Mm -hmm. With the sting of a wasp and the horn of a dragon, <gasps> drink this juice, ladies to get keys to next man's G-Wagon. Ah! Yes, yes, yes! We can never find a nice fella, can we, Chloe? No, never. Now, Chloe and Nicole, this one's for you. So drink up, girlies. This roadman's waiting for you. Hey! P.S. The roadman's not me, it's David. Yo, what are you saying, B? Oh! Hey! <laughs> we get full-on, you know, Brechtian yeah. performance, you know, Shakespearean. Mm. Thanks, guys. <laughs> so this is actually for my Lily, Aww. and it's called To Trap a Rich Man. Right. Petals, petals, webs and webs, well endowed. Lily? <laughs> <laughs> she wrote this. Marry me now and make my purse go pow, and then you can lick my hole again, mow. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Lily. Your age and you know language like that? Tell you. If no one had got that, that's my only number one song I ever had. <laughs> oh, why didn't I? Hole again. Oh, so... hole again! Oh, I get it now. So, last but not least, we have Grafton Chan. Yay! Let's do something a bit deep that's linked to exactly what. A bit of substance. We... Yeah. Those, Those in, in despair, despair and, and seek, seek for a place elsewhere. elsewhere. If you seek bliss and perfection, do not be afraid to drink our potion for astral projection. Oh. The rap specialist, just bam, writing the lyrics. Easy. Shah, natural performance. <laughs> I just easy. read it out. <laughs> easy, easy. So, can we please thank Davos the Great? Yeah. Yay! And are you all hungry? Yeah. Yeah. Right, off you go for dinner. As night falls on the trip's second day, the celebrities are leaving Newcastle en route to Brenda's next activity. Very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Now, how do we all enjoy making our potions and our spells? Oh, Very good. This evening, we're going to Red Car. And we are going to have a... A Ooh. night of terror. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh no! It's all right. It's all right. It's just me. Oh! <laughs> Brendan just being an idiot. If you thought Chillingham Castle was bad last night, this is even worse. It is spine chilling. Terror here in this place. Yeah. <laughs> Instinct kicked in, and I went, started squaring up to the clown. Honest to God, I've seen the movie Ish. I never want to see a clown ever again in my life. Honestly, I did pee my pants no, a little you know bit, and I'm not embarrassed is. to say. Are we all scared? Yeah. Yeah. Petrified. Yeah. 
For tonight's activity, the group will be split into two and sent off to explore one of Britain's most terrifying live-action immersive experiences, a walk through the blood-curdling scare factory. We're going to give you a heart monitor each. As well as trying to make it through without needing a change of underwear, the celebs will also need to keep their cool as the fear factor reaches boiling point. <laughs> So the one whose heart rate is the highest, highest. at the end, scared the most. Scared time. the most, we'll get a little surprise. <laughs> oh my god, everyone's stop screaming. It. Can you hear that? No, stop, that's, that's screaming, I'm not happy. No, I'm actually not no, even that's, joking. That's a bit much. Like, this is so true. That, yeah, but much. that's David's in that group. That's all David. I know, babes, I'm a hundred times worse than David. Wait, listen. No. Whoa. Do you were a chainsaw? Oh my word. This will be like a group No, you, you two take care of our lot. Me and Linda are mugging you all. Right. Hands in. Yeah. Right, yeah. are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Three, two, one. Honestly, this is my worst nightmare. Because it's physical. He's got this clow. He's got this babe. Come on. Nothing is going to hurt you. No! I've yeah. seen fan dropped at floor like that when they see like a boy band. Yeah. Oh my oh. 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 Are you being served, sir? <laughs> oh. 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 oh, you're all right. No, 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 no. It's all right, it's enough. All right. So big up Chloe because yeah. she's trying to try yeah, she it. was she was struggling in there. Yeah, a bit. she really was. <laughs> Oh, how are you feeling? I thought I was going to faint, and I'm quite good with this stuff. It messed me up. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm doing a good job. I'm scaring them. I'm scaring the wits out of them. Having escaped with their lives, but perhaps not their pride, which of the celebrities had the highest average heart rate during the fright night and can now be certified most terrified? So, as you know, you're all wearing heart monitors. And the highest score of 152 was recorded oh. on Chloe's monitor. Yes. Oh. yes! And as a trick or treat, I award you Ooh. famous skull. Oh my god, no. I feel like my heart is going 150. Do it, honestly. What's that? A pair of clean ones for you. <laughs> <laughs> I won! I won a pair of knickers and I'm so happy! <laughs> oh my god, yeah! <laughs> and be honest, you thought you were gonna have a night here, did you? Oh my god! Yes! As the day's gone on, yeah. you know, with Carrie and Lily, it's uh, the air is cleared, yeah. it's better vibes. One all. So, so maybe they, they might not vote for us later. I think we definitely know what we're going to do. But, but I don't know who else is. I don't know who's voting for who. But I'm we not know who we're voting for. Yeah. After a roller coaster ride of thrills, spills, and chills, 
It's time for the trip's second vote. Newcomers Tinchi and Linda can't be voted for tonight, but must still vote for another couple. Tonight's a big vote. Yeah. Holy moly. I've literally had my head up my it's ass. It's gonna go down. Yeah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are in Kirkleatham, red car, and it's time for another vote. We need to know who you're voting for and your reasons why. Thank you. Tonight, we are voting for... Graft and Sean. Last night, your vote was for Dick and Dom, for, like, not really taking part in it and kind of having a bit of a piss about. Yeah. We just feel like what you voted Dick and Dom for last night, you did tonight in that activity. It's good to be scared. Like, when you go to the movies, you know it's not real. But you still want to be scared. But you still want to be scared. Completely disagree with you, because I never was putting on an act. I was just not scared. Tonight, we are voting for... Dick and Dom. <laughs> of course you are. Why did you <laughs> pick us? <laughs> How can you do that? Well, what, what have we ever done wrong to you? <laughs> we gave you a birthday well, present, Kerry. Well, well, where, where should we start, Lily? Um, oh, it was my birthday yesterday, wasn't it? And uh, and then Dick and Dom voted for a mother and a child. A child. <laughs> a child. <laughs> she maybe it was a child to go and um, stay in a haunted castle with a possessed dog. With a possessed dog. <laughs> Well, um, if you put it and, like that. And you know what? It just it, it bothered me. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little and bit. Uh, I'm still not quite over it. As soon as we put them in that castle for the night, that was it. I think we were done for. Yeah, we knew. We knew. They were going to vote for us every single time, whatever <laughs> happened. And rightly so. It was a horrible <laughs> thing to do. Tonight, we're voting for. David and Callum. I know about David, how he got into what he's doing now, a bit about his background, about where he used to work. Mm. I don't really know anything about you other than you like girls. <laughs> I mean, that's all there is to him, Sean. Baby, you know more than you know about me. <laughs> Fair enough. Tonight, we're voting for. David and Callum. David is a bit was a bit loud on a coach. Oh. On a whole coach journey, he's a bit like loud and a bit overpowering. And I feel like it makes that people a bit quiet, shy, a bit like feel like less of a voice that like they can't really speak up because Is that just you? No, that's what that's just how we feel for like others. Or from for looking. everyone. Yeah, that's what it looks like from oh, our right. view. I am loud, I am have got a big personality, like hundred percent, but Don't look at me, there's that. me. There's Kerry, there's Callum, there's Chloe, there's Nicole. We're all very loud personalities. No, I didn't, we, we didn't say there wasn't, it just no. a bit more than yeah. them. You, oh, I'm just a us. decibel higher. Yeah, just, 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 just a tad. David and Tinchy. Oh, they're not going to get on. They're not going to get on at all. No. And Craig, I haven't got to know you. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely haven't got to know him. This is the wrong name. Craig oh, what's his name? Callum. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. Craig David. Craig? <laughs> Is there a craze? <laughs> Tonight we are voting for Dick and Dom. Yesterday we were the only <laughs> couple that didn't vote for you. Yeah. And Today, we just feel like you haven't showed us enough gratitude for that. Like, you haven't... <laughs> you haven't been, like, appreciative. Ladies and gentlemen, the result of this evening's vote is a three-way tie, with two votes for David and Callum, Graf and Sean, and for Dick and Dom. Therefore, can I ask these three couples to join me while the rest of you come together and decide whom I'm awarding a yellow card to this evening? If you'd like to follow me, please, this way. 
three-way tie. So that means if one of the couples, Kerry and Lily or Nicole and Chloe, don't change their vote, yeah. we're going out. Surely one of them will change their mind. So basically, if we vote for Dick and Dom, they're going to get a red card and they're going to leave. Mm. At this point, I won't lie, I'm looking at the couples thinking, who's got our back? Who's, who's got, our, got back? our back? I'm looking at our close friends later thinking, who's got our back, though? Don't look at Tinchy and Linda. Definitely not Tinchy and Linda. Mm. I think it's only fair. Yeah. I think it's only fair. So is that a decision? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Ladies and gentlemen, have you come to a decision as to whom I'm awarding a yellow card to this evening? Yes, we have. It's Dick and Dom. So Dick and Dom, I award you your second yellow card, which becomes a red card. May I ask you to say goodbyes and we'll get your luggage off the coach. And that's the end of this evening's vote. Thank you. Cheers, Brendan. Thank you. I'm already, I think, I think it's only fair. Yeah. Stick to your words and all that, you know what I'm saying? Oh. That's fair, lovely. And nothing's going to top last night for me, honest God. And that is why I'm so adamant to stick to Dick and Dom. <laughs>